What is going on, guys? It is Tony from Lomo Paintball, and today we are talking all the marker bags you could ever imagine. And why? Because who's the best source for paintball? It is LomoPaintball.com. So, I was just kidding. It's not all the marker bags you could ever imagine, but um, it's the XL marker bags. We've got the Exalt one. We've got the HK version. We've got a Push D1, one of the bigger autococker bags as well. So, we're going to hit you with three today, probably three of the most popular ones. We're gonna start with the Exalt and work our, work our way down. Uh, price points so though, first off, Exalt's at 50. We've got HK at 50 and we've got Push at 80. But you'll find out why the $80 price point, you know what I'm saying? So Mark, start on down here. Got the XL marker case by Exalt. I'm moving this, I'm bringing this front and center. So first thing you will notice, Pretty rigid on the outside. It's got a nice hard outer shell. Obviously, um, all of these XL cases are gonna be able to hold any standard marker or the bigger auto cockers or old school matrixes, something like that. Prove it. Okay, well, first off, which side do I wanna go through? Cause there's a couple tricky compartments here. We're gonna look in here. We're gonna take a quick peek. Oh, it is that one. So you guys, when you get your marker loaded into this bad boy, you're gonna see a little like um, divider here, quick little quick access. You guys don't have to open the complete thing up. You can have your marker inside. You got a quick little access point with these exalt marker cases. They are microfiber lined. So I'm gonna sneak on in and we're gonna pull this bad boy on out. Ooh, she's pretty. So yes, it does fit auto cockers and it does have plenty more storage. So just stay tuned, set that on the table. So now if we're gonna fully unzip this, like I was telling you, all fully microfiber line, not gonna scratch your beautiful marker that you have, so I do like that. And that's the uh, front actual gun storage compartment. You can close that bad boy on up. While I'm doing that, you can talk about, obviously it's got your nice um, rubber rigid herring candle here. Um, so obviously you're toting this bad boy around the field, going to show all your friends your sickest marker there was. You got a nice little carrying handle. On the back side, you will notice that also it has like a little quick access pocket as well. So if you uh, happen to store two markers in here, I don't think it's meant for two, but a lot of people can sneak two in there. It's also got that little quick storage pocket where you don't have to open it all the way up. And then you will notice once again, this is also microfiber line. You've got a storage compartment that mesh lining in here for you know barrel covers or parts kits or whatever you guys like. And then, oh, We've got plenty of room and slots for barrel tips, barrel backs, inserts, whatever you guys want. You guys can put them in these barrel slots. They're gonna hold, I mean, obviously these elastic bands on here can hold plenty for you. And then you also have a more storage here for whatever you guys would like, zippered pockets, um, tools, parts, each individual pocket is here. So pretty much this video is just on, hey, whatever you guys' personal preference is, there's options out there for you. And that divider comes out. I was just going to say uh, it's Velcro, so this divider would pull out. If you don't want that divider, if you don't need the extra storage, pull it on out, throw it in your closet, keep it at home. But that's definitely an option for you as well. So this is the Exalt XL marker case. This bad boy does retail at 50 bucks. So we're going to keep the, the gun out for now, Mark. We're going to move on to the HK Army. I think this is their 2.0 version. So this one is definitely meant to carry two markers padded compartments. Uh, once again, kind of the same handle as Exalt, that rubber top here. So you've got that. Open up the top compartment and see what it looks like inside. Yeah, this one is plenty of plenty of room. Same, uh, that rigid outer exterior as the Exalt. Plenty of room to store any of the old school markers, as uh, you guys can see. And it has that half fold down too. You just didn't show it. Same thing, yeah, same thing as the Exalt. It's got that half fold built in, so if you don't wanna open up, you know, do all the zippers open, so you can do that. Flip that bad boy right on over, and it's got your second storage compartment on the backside, and we will see what's going on in there. So this one, obviously you can store another marker in there. Right on that side, it also has that liner that you guys can simply pull out, but with the HK, obviously you can see, it tells you, you can put your squeegees in here. You've got any extra attachments that you'd like. I mean, pretty much you're talking barrel backs, tips, whatever you guys want here. Um, more padded neoprene pockets up top. So plenty and plenty of storage available in the HK Army case as well. 
And then flipping it over here, more storage, plenty of more. Tools, Mark tells you, this is where you put your tools if you're working on your gun, padded neoprene pocket, different spots for tools. And then even inside, if you guys wanted to screwdrivers or whatever you guys are working on your marker with, you guys can put it in that pocket. So both of these, I mean, they're fairly similar. Um, Mark, so far, what do, what do you think your favorite is? Uh, I like the HK just a little better, just because it's a little wider, can fit things a little more comfortable. Uh, you know, but I like to shove as much as I possibly can into a case. I'm not very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, minimalist. I, I want to bring it all just in case. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's never, I, you know, never bad to have a good backup if you want to bring two markers with you. Everybody knows, I mean, these cases are pretty much designed for the autocockers and older style guns since they are bigger and not as small as the current one. So as we know, these things are really, really nice when they function, but when they go down, you're definitely gonna wanna have a backup marker. So the, uh, the HK Army one is definitely a great option to have. Saying that, I own two of the Exalt ones. I don't own the HK and they've served me well. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. So now we're on to the Push D1. The, they're, I think they literally call it their autococker bag. So we're on to the Push one. This one definitely is the newest one out. Um, kind of getting a little bit fancy here. That's why it's the $80 price point instead of 50 for the other ones. It does come with that nice fancy TSA lock. You can hook your um, zippers into here. So um, it's gonna keep your stuff safe from getting stolen. I do like that. Uh, on the front, you will notice there's tons of the Molly attachments if you wanna hang. I know it's a marker bag, but if you wanted to hang your goggle off of it or uh, whatever it may be, you guys can just hook up to the Molly attachments and uh, go on about your day. There is a little sneaky storage up top here from the outside. So that zipper opens up and you have access all the way down into the bottom of the bag. Then of course, team patches, uh, your personal number, whatever you guys wanna put has Velcro on the outside. Over here, you're gonna be looking at like a, your ID or you've got a name tag or whatever you guys wanna put in this little pocket right there. And then this does have a nice shoulder strap and it also has the uh, Velcro attachments to go onto the mollies to their bigger version of the bag, right Mark? Yeah, that's a really nice feature being able to put that little bag onto your bigger backpack or roller. Correct. So yeah, these are meant to hook up to their bigger backpack or their roller bag as well. And I think there's, yeah, I knew there was a hidden one here. So here it's a little Velcro and you've got an extra storage pocket right out here. So that's pretty cool feature. And obviously all of these, we have full reviews on. This is kind of just hopefully quick enough to get you guys to uh, choose something that would fit your personal preference. The TSA, TSA lock on this is really, really nice. I like that feature. And also probably my second favorite feature other than that TSA lock on the inside is that it does have a magnetic tech mat. So let me get this bad boy on open here. Flip it, get this paper out of the way. So you do have what in the world, there it is. So magnetic tech mat, obviously if you're working on your marker at the field, it has a nice magnetic strip here. This is um, definitely gonna keep your marker from being scratched. And obviously if you got little screws and stuff, you're gonna lose them, they're gonna fall on the ground and you'll be searching forever. So this is all magnetic. You've got obviously up top is your padded marker compartment. Put it on in, sometimes they're a little tricky depending on you know the size, whatever, whatever beaver tail you're rocking with. So we got that bad boy right on in there. And then you've got spots up top, actually, I'm gonna pull it back out. So for your barrels. So these are barrels and inserts. These little slots here will hold, um, yeah, inserts, tips, backs, whatever you guys have. And then you have more storage down here in the mesh for tools, parts kits, whatever it may be. And also this one's got a nice little, well, I think I already mentioned that. I was talking more carrying handles. Like if you guys don't wanna throw it over the shoulder, it's got a carrying handle here on the backside as well. So plenty of options with the push bag. I do like it a lot. Um, so just to summarize real quick, exalt bag, pretty basic, uh, microfiber, meant to hold one marker. You can squeeze a second if you want to. HK, a lot more storage, uh, built to hold two markers at least and a bunch of accessories. Mm -hmm. And then the push bag, one marker, 
Uh, lots of storage and the magnetic tech mat is a pretty awesome little add-on. Pretty good bonus. So if you guys are out there wondering uh, if your marker that you purchased didn't come with a hard shell case or anything like that, obviously you've got different options out here. Nope, these are not the only ones. There's plenty of other ones on the website as well. Check them out. We have reviews on them on the channel already. And you already know it's lonewolfpaintball.com. Go, go buy a bag for your marker. What are you doing? Bag for your marker? Keep it in your box. Loser. Can't do that. Can't do that.